Deadly Tarantula the Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium. Welcome! Tonight we are going to be doing an egg sac opening. This is a surprise egg sac that I got from my GBB female, which was a breeding project that I invested in with Carlos Lucero, who did send me his mature male. I say that it's a surprise because the animals were bred earlier in the season, and today's December 1st, it's quite late to see a mother produce an egg sac. This is just past the 21 day mark. I did pull it from her because as some of you saw in my last video, my last Chromatopelma cyanopubescence did try to eat her egg sac. I saved it, well, I should say I attempted to rescue the sac and only ended up with two spiderlings survive out of that whole fiasco. So this one I did pull and I've had it in an incubation chamber. Say when. I have had it in an incubation chamber. I have been manually rolling it every 12 hours and I wanted to go ahead and open it because it's starting to feel a little bit dense. When you first pull an egg sac, uh, of course it's a uh, white fluffy like cotton and it's nice and loose. You have to roll it so the babies don't start sticking together because that's when they'll start to perish. And it's starting to feel a little bit dense which means one of two things. Number one that it's starting to spoil uh, but it also could just mean that they're ready to, that they've grown, that they're molting out and that there's no more room in here. So the egg sac starts to feel a little bit tacky, kind of like sticky from the moisture almost. And so it is time to open it. I have somewhat mixed feelings about it. I, I'm not super excited about the texture and the density. I have concerns. And so I, I'm not 100% confident that these babies are doing well. So fingers crossed for Carlos and I. I hope that when I open this, a bunch of big, beautiful first or second instars will come tumbling out. So I'm a little bit anxious and I think we should just get started. I have the egg sac here and I'm going to start, I'm going to start with the process of opening it, which um, this is probably the trickiest part. So I try and pull it up and away. From the, <clears throat> from the slings that are inside, because you don't want to cut any of them. And you can see that it is, this silk is very dense. When the sack is younger, it pulls apart a lot more easily. It's not looking very good. Just keep working on it. do is turn the sack inside out so I can examine every egg. Try to make sure not to rupture any of them, which it's not looking like we have any viable babies here. But it happens sometimes, and that's okay. It's part of reproduction is you don't have a 100% success rate. And although it's a bummer, it's a part of being a breeder. All these black eggs 
These are eggs that you can be fairly certain are not healthy embryos. Uh, I see a couple that are just kind of opaque that might still grow, but if I had to guess, I would say that this was an infertile sac that she dropped, which happens from time to time. Unfortunately, this male um, lived out his lifespan. So we will not be able to try again with him, but what happens very frequently is the males mature and die before they can ever uh, be paired with a female. So that was a really good try. And I am glad that we had the experience. It's always exciting to pair two animals up and then when she drops an egg sac that's exciting and sometimes you do not wind up with viable spiderlings out of the event these ones that are almost like slimy those are definitely like you can tell those are already starting to sort of decompose those are not eggs that I will incubate uh, there are a few, though, that I am going to separate. This one, for example. Uh, there was a spoon in the spider box. Somebody could grab that for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and comb through these. I, I don't know for a fact that it's a complete loss. I'm going to separate these couple that look like they could possibly be okay. I do have an incubation chamber prepared. I'm going to still continue to incubate them. And so I will be incubating these and I don't have really high hopes for this um, egg sac. But if I have any offspring that do molt out, I'll definitely do a follow-up video. But at this point, things aren't looking real good. If you've seen some of my other egg sac videos or if you've reproduced your own tarantulas, you know that usually healthy looking eggs are, they're kind of white or translucent at this point. Well, for what it's worth, I hope you guys still liked this one. I want to give a big shout out and send my love to Carlos Lucero for being involved in this project with me. I'm sad that I don't have better news. I, I don't have great hopes for this egg sac, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the footage anyway, and I'll see you guys soon.